Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to Blue World Academy. Hi, everyone. Today on Blue World Academy, I want to address a couple things from the Disney Pixar movie Finding Dory. Yes, I know it's an animated movie, fish don't talk, and we can give the directors a little creative license when it comes to marine biology. But on the other hand, these animals are based on real ones, and people tend to believe what they see on screen. So I'd like to set the record straight on a few things that Pixar got wrong. Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen the movie, don't keep watching. Stop! In Finding Dory, we discover that Dory learned to speak whale from a whale shark named Destiny. Destiny is clearly a whale shark and is introduced in the film as a whale shark. Once. After that, she's referred to as a whale numerous times and supposedly speaks whale. This is confusing because as all of you know, a whale is a marine mammal with lungs that breathes air and gives birth to live young like all mammals. It holds its breath when it dives. A whale shark is a fish with gills that lives underwater and never needs to surface. The whale shark gets its name because it's as big as a whale. A whale shark is not a whale, just as a tiger shark is not a tiger. People very rarely confuse tiger sharks and tigers. Why do people have such a hard time with the distinction between whale sharks and whales? Come on, Disney, I know you know the difference. It's just lazy writing. Speaking of whales, there's a character named Bailey, a beluga whale who uses his echolocation to see with sound. This is true, but there are two large inaccuracies in how this is portrayed in the movie. First of all, the sound is not produced by the mouth. Belugas don't go, ooh to make the sound. The sound is produced internally and comes out through the melon on its head, which is kind of like a lens that focuses sound in the water. And because it's designed to work in the water, it will not work in air, nor would it allow Bailey to see over a mountain and inside a truck. The director took a little creative license with the power of echolocation on that one. Finally, one last comment. In the movie, Dory, Nemo, Marlin, and Hank are constantly jumping from one container of water to another. It's important that people realize that marine life can't do that. If these creatures, adapted for life in salt water, were tossed into a bucket or fountain of fresh water, they would die very quickly. Ocean water and fresh water are very different to marine animals. Do not put ocean life into fresh water. Thanks for watching Blue World Academy and don't be shy. Leave us a comment or a question down below. And don't forget to subscribe and watch some of our Jonathan Bird's Blue World adventures or learn about sharks with Shark Academy. Boom, we're done, we're out. Boom, zip it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs>